Yeah, move, Crete. I didn't know what to do then. Alright. <laughs> uh, all, all you could do is surrender. I, I surrender had you. Alright, so. Hello! Uh, <laughs> no play dolls, have to get extras. All of these are going to be released all at the same time. We still released the Frozen <laughs> one. We haven't even released our review of 2013. <laughs> Hello, uh, 2015. This is our review of 2013. We released 2017. <laughs> when Robocop. The actual Robocop comes out, that's when, still, that's when this review will come out. So, <laughs> Robocop, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you think? Where to start? Uh, yeah, well, I will say for one, one thing now. Um, I haven't seen the original Robocop film. Um, well, I'd, if I wanted to, I could have watched it before I went to see this remake, but in a way I didn't want to. Just because then I could go in with an open mind. I couldn't judge it. I, I couldn't uh, compare it to the original. I couldn't judge it at all. Because uh, I know there are some fans, some Robocop purists, <laughs> who didn't like this film at all. You know, uh, they slated this film. And uh, uh, hate a remake of something they liked. I did not see that coming. No. Well, I can see where they come from. Like, if they if they <laughs> said they were going to remake Back to the Future, I'd be furious. But yeah, that's not the point. That's not going off topic. No. So, uh, what did I think of it? Um, I really, really enjoyed this film. Uh, well, I can say, as a man who has watched the original Rocker, I consider myself to be a fan of the series. <laughs> I thought it was fucking awesome. It was like, <laughs> this, is, this is the best remake of something that I've ever seen. It's like, it, it, seemed, it understood the whole... Charlie's wondering where I'm at there. <laughs> it understood, like, what the original was about. And it didn't feel like it betrayed what the film was about because um, the original Robocop, it was. I probably explain what Robocop is for people who don't know. Yeah, cool. Robocop is about a man who is injured in the line of duty and he is put into a robot suit. <laughs> Something back there. Charlie! There's dreads back there, you know. He's after, going to message Judge Dredd. He's after the giant dread post we have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted. Mm. Okay, Richard. Uh, and in the original film, it was like it, it felt like it didn't really dwell on the fact that he was like it, it only didn't really dwell on the fact that it was like is he a man or is he a machine. In this film, it was like the, the fact that he was is like questioning that whether or not he was a man or a machine was the entire heart of the film, and, and it felt much more focused than the original was. But it still kept those essential elements. One thing I I did. I turned your smile at this when the theme came on. It's like so many remakes miss the theme. So I was like Transformers. The Transformers theme isn't in anywhere in there. But have you heard? Um, the it's not in the, not in the film, but in the Transform uh, on the Transformers soundtrack, there is a band doing the theme tune, the, the Transformers theme tune, and oh, it's dull. It's <laughs> like remember how for the original was Transformers. Oh, wait, this is Transformers. More than meets the eye. It's this is sung by Zuckerberg. What? It sounds like it's sung by Zuckerberg. Transformers. <laughs> More than meets the eye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think one of the big things here was the redesign. And it's like a lot of people like jump to the fence. Like, you can't redesign something unless it's when the design is already perfect. And I was on board, and it felt like it kind of grew on me. Like. It grew me the design over time. I'm a big suck for black yeah. on red, and especially visors that snap mm. down. But there's a very good reason why Robocop is black in this. Because The Dark Knight was a big success. No. No, no. <laughs> joking, I didn't understand this until <laughs> the very end when they put him back in the silver suit. He is in the, in the film, he starts off with the silver suit. That's the original version. And then it's... The corporation that said, let's put him in black, let's spice, let's spice it. It's oddly mir mirroring a lot of modern remakes and films. Yes. And then they put him back in the silver one. It's like, that's when he's regained his humanity. It's like, that's when he's become the Robocop mm. that we know. And he's not this one that's designed by committee. The corporations 
that was always a big thing in Grow Worker, it was like the corporations are like this, the big bad controls and they're like they're constantly spinning everything. Right, yeah. yeah the thought of Samuel L. Jackson in this film who he's I just I'm just laughing at <laughs> you know, all the Samuel L. Jackson Samuel L. Jackson scenes are awesome. <laughs> just, it is especially the final scene. And the film you haven't lived until you've seen like the MGM Lion roaring with <laughs> Samuel Jackson <laughs> Doing lip exercises. We're not, we're not kidding as well. I know. didn't know what was going on at first. It's like, hit the line roll. It's like, me, me, me. <laughs> yeah, imagine you know, you're expecting the line roll. All you hear is, <laughs> do the thing from high school music. Like, yeah, he, <laughs> we did, <laughs> he did go mad actually as well. <laughs> uh, with, with, with the design, uh, when I first, uh, when I saw the image the design originally, this was, this was last year, I think, or I don't know, the year before, I think. It was when they were filming anyway. Um, my first thought came to my head was, this is The Dark Knight. And, because that's the only thing that annoys me about The Dark Knight. Too many films are trying to copy, trying to be like Dark Knight. Yeah. Not, well, not just story, but design, the whole feel of it. Yeah. And that's why I felt this. But, and... Charlie! Wait, wait. wait. He's, <laughs> been, he's been a naughty puppy. We have our puppy here. He's not... He's... Stay, no, he's coming over here because he's going to start scratching at that position. <laughs> Every time we turn around, he doesn't think okay. that we don't know what he's up to, but we do. Yeah, and when I went, when it, when I went into the film, um, when we saw the black suit the first time, I was still a bit mm, about it. But it didn't bother me as much as the film went on, to be honest. I just got used to it. I still don't think it's perfect, but I don't hate it as much as I used to. I actually hate a strong word. Um, you know, I didn't dislike it as much yeah. as I used to. Um, but yeah, I agree with you at the end. You know, when they showed the original, when they showed the original yeah. I thought, yes, I see what they've done there. And uh, I hope a lot of um, Robocop purists understand that as well. Yeah. Yeah, you have. You have to let go. You know, so I go, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break this to you gently. Robocop was never the best movie. It's like when I think of like the best actor films, but I think like. Terminator or Aliens. Mm. Robocop is kind of those films I enjoyed. So, I think Terminator um, <laughs> is a new step in the science fiction I'm genre. I'm yeah. really sure we can compare anything to Terminator 2, it's always going to fall short. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's pretty much well, it's yeah. an unfair comparison. Mm. Every film should be Citizen Kane, I'm saying it now. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> music was. There's a very strange music for this. I think you, you said this about. The Great Gatsby. They had a lot of unusual music choices. Well, The Great Gatsby. Um, I can see what they're doing now. They're trying to like say how the uh, modern day is mm. kind of connected to the period that um, The Great Gatsby is set in, and they used modern day music as a link. But as well with The Great Gatsby, they, the music fits, fits so fits so well with what's going on in the scene. Uh, with this one, with the music, half the time I couldn't even hear it. Because there are uh, there are um, some action scenes where you know sort of gunfights and very music. loud gunfire. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Very loud gunfire, uh, gun fire, and um, there's there's like heavy metal music or something. I can't remember. But, uh, but there was only one, it only felt like there was only one heavy metal song, and there was another action scene where it was like a simulation, mm. and it was like the character of the scene puts this on out of irony, <laughs> spite a lot of people. He's, um, <laughs> if I had a heart from Wist of Oz <laughs> while the Robocop shooting that was a very strange experience uh, <laughs> but it worked it worked I'm well. not sure what song they had on during like the warehouse scene oh that's one I want to comment on because there um, was, like, there was a lot of fun firing yeah. uh, and there was music playing so all I could hear was <laughs> so I couldn't really <laughs> it was just noise really I, I sound old when I say that but it, it was just lots and lots of noise and not in a, a good way mm. and uh, on the warehouse scene yeah I thought the cinematography was bad but that scene and later on uh, uh, actually near the end um, a lot of fast editing as well and uh, a lot of gunfire I like in Star Trek Into Darkness you couldn't see what was happening most I, got this, I actually disagree with this one I have mm. a lot of time we actually we recorded an episode today where I I is actually I said you stand it there. <laughs> we'll see we'll see that when that comes out, but I, yes. I really hate like that fast editing shaky cam bullshit. But there's no well, shaky cam though in this one. There's, no. there's tons of shaky cam in this. I didn't well. Well it was like I 
here's here's what annoys me is like it can work. It, the whole purpose of this style of shooting is that it's supposed to feel hectic. It's like born and taken. They did it well. This film as well did it well. It's like it's got the shaky close up, but it's not all fast cut. It like it'll focus on a character for a good bit of time. It's like it's got him round cover. He pops out and shoots. Focuses on another character and it's got him doing it. It's still the close up, but it's not constantly changing. So your eyes have time to adapt to what's on screen. Mm -hmm. And this one, it knew it knew how long to hold its shots, and I didn't really feel like it was cutting too fast. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say um, it happened for the majority of the time. There were just certain sections yeah. where I felt it was present. But yeah, it didn't annoy me as much to say like, Star Trek Into Darkness. Yeah. Or um, Quantum of Solace, the car chase at the beginning. That really, that car chase annoyed me. But yeah, move on. Uh, that, that's off topic again. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs>